Uh, uh, uh. What's up, guys? Blackware here. We just finished off our Mega Man Legends playthrough last night, and I hit affiliate here on Twitch. So I want to keep that momentum going, and I, I've been itching to play this game for a while. It's a personal favorite. It's Blood Will Tell, Tezuka Osamu's Dororo. That's the subtitle. This is just called Dororo in Japan. It's based on a uh, not quite as well-known manga from uh, Osamu Tezuka, who's sort of the godfather of uh, modern Japanese comics, uh, known for Astro Boy, Blackjack, and many others. But Dororo, this is a this is one of the weirdest fairy tale premises uh, in gaming, for sure. But it's also really catchy. Uh, basically, I mean they'll explain it in the intro, but a bunch of demons have stolen your body parts and you have to hunt them down, kill them, and retrieve your body parts one by one. It's a premise that only makes sense... It does make sense. You just kind of have to take it at face value because how, how is he living without a spleen and a nervous system and eyes? It doesn't make sense, but that's just what they serve, so... That's the story, but you, uh, what they say is that you, you were taken in by a crazy scientist guy and he gives you a bunch of cybernetic samurai parts. Uh, so you have like some sort of feudal Japan era version of a bionic eye and uh, you have like cannons hidden in your arms and legs and stuff. It's very cool uh, and actually a surprisingly competent game at that. This was published by Sega. Uh, I actually don't know who developed it, but uh, I wonder it was developed by Sega. Well, once we get into it, I'm sure it will tell us. Here we go. It's worth noting also that the <laughs> um, this is a much grittier take on Dororo than the comic itself if you like it's got his typical Astro, Astro Boy art style so looks like uh, I don't know old comic strip cartoons uh, but this is a much grittier take that you know this game looks like a lot of character action games uh, of the era Let's go ahead and play. So the first thing you'll notice Hiyakimaru, move with the left analog stick, not with the directional button. No novel. First thing you'll notice is it's in black and white. Don't worry. I was going to say don't adjust your t your screens, but the capture move device well does kind of corrupt the colors a little bit. There's, I can move only tweak it so much. Analog stick while holding down the L1 button. But don't worry, this w the black and white this is temporary. Will allow you to straight from side because I don't have eyes. <laughs> Use it to avoid exposing your back to your enemy. Press the L1 button to center the camera in the direction you are facing. Jump with the X button. A double jump there? Yes. Very good, Yakimaru. Now try pressing the X button one more time while in mid Way ahead of you. Well done. That was an excellent double <laughs> jump. So supportive. Now for balance. The square button does a light attack, and the triangle button does a heavy attack. Excellent. The combat is quite good. You know, the this genre was very well served on the PS2, but now, I, will uh, show you a very special I think technique. this is one of the better Press character action games. When your sword flashes, 
let go of the triangle button, attack the enemy using that technique. Hey. Then press the buttons as they appear on the screen. Oops. Once again, Haru, press and hold the triangle button. When your sword flashes, let go of the triangle button. Attack the Got enemy it. using that technique. Then press the buttons as they appear on the screen. Once the enemy's health has been depleted, press the triangle button. Oops. Very well done, Yaku. Cut off there, but you get to do Try a finisher. To get as many slashes as you can. You may be rewarded. Look, your attacks have caused your spirit gauge to fill up. See the blue gauge blinking in the upper left corner. Now, press the square button and the triangle button simultaneously. It's your ultra there. It's your ultra combo. Excellent. You have successfully performed a spirit attack. You will be able to learn more spirit attacks by finding spirit scrolls. Press the L2 button to change weapons. See how the weapon in your hand changed? Try attacking with that sword. Excellent swordsmanship. There are many other kinds of swords. Be sure to try each one at least once. Man, I just played Neo 2 today for the first time. L2 button to return to you finally. I'm so glad they still make games in this vein. And that they've evolved and continue to evolve. Right arm. While using your sword arm, press the R. Oh yeah. Impressive, isn't it? I call it the This is why we're here. This weapon can be used when you have your sword arms drawn. It is very effective. But there is limited ammo, so use it wisely. Now your left leg, press and hold the... Once you select your target using the cursor, press the triangle button. <laughs> Quite powerful. Hey, Yakimaru. I call it the guided leg cannon. It is very powerful, but uses special ammo. Use it sparingly. Oh, I almost forgot. Those swords in your arms, as you defeat demons with them, the swords will increase in level. Be sure to use them often, Yakimaru, for they will serve you well. Yakimaru, this game is quite good looking for here. PS2 also. Steal your will. Be strong. Defeat the 48 fiends and return here alive. I await you, Yakimaru. Hey, dude. Yeah, he's very calm. He's trying to lull, you lull me to sleep with this tutorial. I just feel like they, they came out swinging with like every weird idea they had and made a game that's also pretty polished. Damn demons. You really There's think a lot of weird game? games on the PS2 that are not polished. Try me. This is kind of the best of both worlds. I will take back all the 48 body parts the fiend stole from me. Oh man, he's he has a robotic voice too. I forgot about that. He's got a robot trachea. Can launch? Can I? Let's see. Robot trachea. Yeah, I'd write that album. Whoa! Look at that move. Anyone else? 
else want to be a hero? The machine gun arm. I love it. Wonder if that's actually in the comic or they just like we're making an action game. You should probably have machine guns. By the way, please let me know if it sounds okay and how much it's picking up that. Uh, we got the AC on, and I'm not sure how how bad it is. It sounds loud as hell. In the room. <laughs> that move is cool too. These animations are quite excellent for PS2. I like the way its hair flops. Miss the era of gaming where all characters were voiced by librarians and substitute algebra teachers. <laughs> you and me both, man. Excellent. Oops. I remember playing for this for the first time and even knowing the premise being like, is there something wrong with my game? There's a really weird problem. Is that me talking or the umbrella? <laughs> What's up, Ghost Ribbon? That was the uh, that was the PS2 era and earlier. What are those stink bugs? Look at this. He ought to have Demons. like a an arm holder though, like a forearm holder. Annihilate all the demons. Demons look like uh, Katie dudes. Right. I feel like they didn't even have to give you like a normal sword, but they did. And there's actually a bunch of different types of swords you can get. If only, if only they had, like, a little more of that Devil May Cry style stuff. Like, if you could cancel more things so that you could, like, launch a guy and then, like, fling your forearms off mid-combo. Right. I don't think you can Smells do that. Smells like a demon to me. Yeah, I guess he, <laughs> he could just toss his forearms into his open... Uh, Whatever you call that thing. Kimono, I guess. Sweet, sweet hamburger. Wait, what do I... Is this like a... It lets you save in the menu. I think that might be right. So, I'm looking at the case here. I got this at... The, I got this at a GameStop or an EBX for 15 bucks. If you check this out on eBay now, it's going for like three to four hundred. It's insane. Glad I got it. You have my trachea. I finally found one. These fiends live off the sorrow and despair of humans. I'm here to take back my body. So there isn't even an intro cinematic, is there? You just you're just thrown straight in with the black and white and the cyborg arms. And 
Okay. During battles with fiends, the camera will enter boss camera mode. It's cutting edge stuff. The camera will remain centered on the fiend. Pressing the R3 button will turn off the mode. Okay, that's cool. I like it. I appreciate it. Do I not have the Ukemi roll yet, or am I just bad at it? Or does that not exist? Surely it exists. That's pretty good damage. Whoa! Have my trachea. <laughs> what, what's happening? Ah! <laughs> uh. Ah! <laughs> it's so good. My voice. It's my own voice. I got my voice back. Wait, dumb it down. What happened? Ah! Excellent. Got my vocal cords. It's cool because so sometimes you get like a like a an in-game. I don't know how to describe it like an like a, a some kind of upgrade that affects gameplay, but then also you get stat boosts from each of the parts you get. Some of them only give you stat boosts, but I mean it's forty eight parts, so they gotta they gotta spread it out. The world was ravaged by unending war. The people cried to the heavens. Their hearts full of despair. Unbeknownst to them, the world was at the mercy of a group of vile demons. Savage fiends. fiends. One day, a terrible omen appeared in the sky. When morning came, not one, but two suns rose in the east. However, while one sun shined more brightly than ever, the other gave off a dull, black light as if it were but a shadow of the real sun. It seemed as though the gods of the heavens could no longer bear to witness the troubled times on Earth and parted ways with the gods of darkness. The gods of darkness, the fiends, looked upon this omen with fear. To them, the appearance of two suns foretold the birth of a human that would have the power to end their dark rule. However, the fiends could not destroy this child of light themselves. They discovered, however, they could corrupt the child's birth parents. The fiends approached Kagimitsu Daigo, a local samurai, and the future father of the child of light and enticed him with promises of power. One night, in his dreams, Man, Kagimitsu Daigo saw a vision. In this vision, he was told that he would be given the power to bring order 
to this chaotic world. Don't do it, Daigo. Daigo, You're better thinking than this. that he had received a vision from the heavens, gathered all his courage and ventured to the temple called the Gates of Hell alone. As Daigo <laughs> stood there, surrounded by the possessed statues of the 48 fiends, he was told that the price of his power would be his firstborn child. The sudden demand threw Daigo into a panic. So many good Daigo sound bites here. The fiends, his mind began to twist, and Daigo's reason and judgment failed him at last. He signed the contract. A few days later, Daigo's child was born. This was much to the surprise of Daigo himself, as he had expected the fiends would lay claim to his child. Daigo dared to allow himself to feel a moment of joy and relief, but that moment proved to be short-lived. Shadows gathered over the newborn, wrapping themselves around its tiny body. A voice sounded from within the shadows. The body of your son now belongs to the 48 fiends. As promised, you shall be granted the power to bring order to this pitiful world. You shall never know defeat in battle from this day forth. Your path to victory shall be littered with the corpses of those who defy you. Forty-eight parts of the infant's body had been stolen by the fiends. Seeing what happened to his son, Daigo let out a blood-curdling scream in anguish. Suddenly, Daigo sprang into action. He snatched up the infant in his arms, jumped atop his trusty steed Midoro. His wife desperately tried to stop him, but Daigo shrugged her off and made his way toward the river. I need to make a super cut of all the Daigo sound bites for the FGC to use. All right. Let's do this. I need those eyeballs. I think you get them one by like one at a time. Okay. I can <laughs> save the game here. Good thing they keep bullets in there. Ooh. Asteroid zombies? I can dig it. It's an interesting system. Let's not go telling everyone about this, okay? Why are you following me? <laughs> that sword in your arm! I bet it was forged by a master swordsmith! 
I don't know. Maybe it was. It works good enough for me. I thought so. Hmm. You mind if I take it? Take it? You? Don't make me laugh. I am the world famous thief, Dororo. Come rain or shine, once I set my eyes on a treasure, it's mine. I don't think you get it. This thing is attached to my arm. It's a part of me. You can't get rid of me that easily. I will get that sword. Are you stupid? Staying near me is certain death. You saw them, didn't you? I'm haunted by ghosts and demons. He doesn't know yet, but she can't be killed. <laughs> well, the world famous thief is afraid of nothing. Thief She's or like not, tails. don't follow me. Check it out, guys. Kurosawa mode. Just had to compose an irreverent tweet. Don't mind me. All right. I think I want to go this way. <gasps> oh, wait. I can save the game here. You lead, you lead the way. You like crawl under these logs. Throw kick. Mm -mm -mm. Oh. Didn't, didn't see that. Save the game here. Ooh. Uh, how's this work? Please select the. Oh, I see. Well, that's not better. And then, oh, this is like your super. So you unlock new supers as you go. Got it. Damn, boy. Oh, 
Eck. Let me go! Let me go! Help! Sword arms have leveled up. Your back just got punched twice. Bad, it's excruciatingly painful to get your body back. Sweet. <laughs> Better than ever. <laughs> Look at that picture. Sweet. You're just tuning in. You'll have missed the entire black and white segment, also known as Kurosawa mode. I can see. I can see through my left eye. Dororo. You're Dororo. Your voice is a little annoying, but you're a cuter kid than I thought. <laughs> hey, is that your eye? Go ahead. Pick it up. It's a fake eye! You scared? I don't blame you. <sighs> when I was a baby, I was found floating in the river in a barrel. Having returned from his studies in China, the physician Jukai had been gathering herbs near the river. To his surprise, he came upon a barrel floating by, carrying in it a tiny infant. Perhaps it was his medical training that urged him to save the child, or perhaps it What's was up, his instinct. But Jukai did not hesitate, but for a you second, this game? Blood before will he tell. rescued the child from the barrel. Yet, upon examining the child, he was at a loss for words, for he did not know any medicines that could help this cursed infant. However, as Jukai fed the child, he watched the infant sip at its porridge. He felt its burning desire to live, and decided to raise the child as his own. One day, a strange voice buzzed in Jukai's ear. Feed me. Feed me, the voice pleaded. <laughs> he looked around in search of the source of the voice. The infant was staring straight at him with its empty eyes. You know, in Could the comic, be, he's he just aloud. a little lump of flesh Were with you no the features. One speaking to me? Yes, the voice echoed in his mind. Jukai realized that the child could speak directly to his mind. From that day forward, Jukai communicated with the child telepathically and taught him everything he needed to know about living in this cruel world. When the child turned three, Jukai made a decision. 
he decided to operate on the child. He would use all his medical knowledge to give the child everything he was missing. Arms, legs, eyes, Central nose, nervous system, ears, spleen. Everything that the child Seriously. lacked. He began the operation. After many, many hours, a miracle <laughs> happened. At the end of the surgery, when the anesthetics had worn off, the child opened his eyes. And for the first sort of a time, weird, the child had a complete like, body. And he retelling had a name, of Pinocchio. Yakimaru. Slash. Within a month after story the surgery, of Moses. Yakimaru began to learn <laughs> to use his new body. He sat up, moved his legs, and took his first steps. He stumbled many times, but every time he picked himself back up. It's a little and like tried Exodus again. and the Pinocchio pain was nearly combined. unbearable. And every day he worked himself to the point of nearly collapsing. Soon Yakimaru was able to run about as free as any child. When Yakimaru turned six, Jukai had been watching him run and play like any child would, despite the fact that he could not see. He knew at that moment that with such wondrous gifts, a strange and fantastic destiny would surely be awaiting Yakimaru. As Yakimaru grew older, strange things began to occur. Demons began to appear all around them, watching their every move. When Yakimaru turned 18, he visited a local temple. While praying, a voice spoke to him from the heavens. The 48 fiends have each taken a part of your body, young Yakimaru. You must seriously look at this production value. PS2, this is quite and good. Retrieve what is rightfully yours. However, Especially for something the that's fiends super weird. have also created a human out of your body parts. Slay the fiends. <laughs> yeah, the guy really uh, did him a solid keeping the baby you that had no body parts. Once again. I don't even identify it as Yakimaru, a baby. Sensing the I guess the telepathy. The situation, sat down to speak with Jukai. Yakimaru knew that the fiends were after him. He knew it was because of his special powers that the demons wanted him dead. Even though he had artificial limbs and could not see nor hear, he could see things with some sort of innate sixth He's like sense. like Daredevil. He knew that the fiends considered him a threat and would do anything to get rid of him. Yakimaru decided that he must seek out the fiends and destroy them. To help him accomplish this, Jukai decided to perform one final operation on Hyakimaru. He fitted Hyakimaru's body with various powerful weapons. As Hyakimaru prepared to set off on his quest, Jukai warned Hyakimaru of the dangers he was sure to face. He explained that fiends lived off of human suffering and grief. He told Hyakimaru that if he encountered any peoples burdened with inexplicable pain or suffering, Chances are he would find a fiend nearby. Yes, that seems pretty damn cool. Pompadour, physician, saved a baby despite all odds. So I guess that was all prologue. If you just tuned in, you may have missed it, but the entire intro section of the game was in black and white, and it just ended with me getting my real eye back. Just one of the eyes. And now the game's in color. I also got my vocal cords. Started the game sounding like a tin can. Mm -hmm. Not no more. Yeah, there's a ton of cool stuff in the PS2 library. It's Yucky. maybe my favorite. Yucky. Especially if you... Because I'm, I'm big on, like, uh. character action. Like the Devil May Cries. It's probably the best system for that stuff. I 
Except maybe the PS4. I mean, it's, it's, it's come back pretty well. The genre was pretty dead for, like, about a decade. But, uh... You got Nier Automata, Devil May Cry came back, Neo, you want some, you want some. Yeah, if this game is free, full of funky looking yokais. I think those umbrella monsters are Just in there somewhere. Eat. So shiny. Uh, hey, Yaki. Did you see that creep last night? Yeah. You looked so scared. I thought you'd start crying. <laughs> you think I was scared of that freak? If I gave him a nasty look, he'd have run away crying. He was probably an amateur thief. He's probably headed for that village over there. We should go check it out. They've got a they've got a good dynamic. I mean, the acting is like PS2 era, like kind of iffy, but uh, it's fun. So Dororo is is cool because like basically she's like Tails, where she can't die. Like she just keeps coming back, and you can like resummon her over and over. Uh, but also, uh, if you got a second controller and a second person, you can uh, do asymmetrical co-op. Also like Tails. So, okay, you can attack, search, collect stuff, and page her. Press and hold circle, and then use a stick. A oh, weird. Gotcha. Dororo. Gotcha. Dororo. Dororo. Right on it, Hiyaki. Dororo. Attack that monkey man. Gotcha. And I said attack him. There we go. And your key. This stream's pretty cool looking. It's funny, like the colors are kind of washed out because of my capture device. Uh, barely even looks like I got my eye back. Let me see if I can tweak it a little at least. Dun. All right, I'm not gonna tweak it yet. Yeah, so okay, check it out. So you look like like this is like normal samurai mode, and then you can fling your arms off, revealing blade arms. Yeah. yeah. With like fancy attacks, and then when your arms are off, you can hold R1 to shoot the machine gun out of your bicep, and you also got a leg cannon that I guess I can't do now because I'm out of ammo, but it's like a heavy cannon attack. And you get new stuff as you go, as you reclaim your body parts. Uh, you get like stat boosts as well as new abilities. And this is a cup box. Yeah, all the enemies in this are based on uh, real mythology. Maybe not all of them, but. I want to say most. Probably all. And you've also got like an ultra combo and you fill up your that blue meter below my health. And you got these, uh, this like charge move when you hit him. It's like a QTE sequence. Oops. Should keep messing up. Just a game full of ideas. 
interesting ideas. And like the premise of like hunting down these fiends one by one to reclaim your body parts one by one is very catchy. There's 48 of them. I don't know if there's pearls do. And there's also loot and find swords of different types, and they. I think they have different attacks. Away with you. A little flashy. I think because he was already dead, it didn't do the full thing. I saw a comment recently on a TV two video of this game or something where someone said it reminded them of Dragon's Dogma. At first, I didn't see it, but it kind of. Yeah, it is in that same vein, especially this, uh, some of the scenery, even though we're in Japan. At some point, I get a faster run I can save too. the game here. So like, I want to be able to run faster. Let's check out my body. Two body parts. See, it's divided into systems like this. My oral cavity. Got my vocal cords. left eye. <laughs> I mean, it's cool. I just think this is a really cool format for progression. It's one of those ideas begging to be stolen by someone more prominent now. And it's kind of, like, they kind of did something like this in the, the recent Deus Ex games. The most similar thing I can think of. it does this like pseudo fixed camera thing a lot like they're it's kind of split between free and fixed camera depending on AR, which is handy it's nice to not have to worry about it all the time Evil 
fern. So I can show you a leg cannon soon. Keep skipping that. I'm One thing I miss, I won't miss from the PS2 era is CGI renders for game covers. Yeah, and that's one thing like, almost like clockwork every time, Japan would have nice hand-drawn art and the US would have CG renders. Um, and that is the case with this game. Wow, that's a cool shot though. Look at that. Let's just stand here for a sec. See, like this game, it's good. It's so cinematic. The cover does not inspire much confidence if I was looking at it. Yeah, but they, I mean, remember Eco? They did that with everything. But seriously, what kind of thief goes around ringing a bell like that? Yeah, you've got a good point. You say you saw a man ringing a bell? You saw the troll? The, these two saw the troll. Uh, who the heck is the troll? Men, quickly. We must bring them to Mistress Yudai. Yeah! yeah. What are you doing? Oh, we haven't now. done anything. I have been told that you two have met the troll. Quite unlucky for you. However, I cannot undo your bonds. Oh yes, that's the yet. mythical potato-headed. What's going on? Demon. Why can't you let us go? Not really. The troll is, of course, not human. It is a monster, an evil spirit. He would have spoken to one of you. To which of you did he speak? What did he say to you? I must know. Is what there? He said. I wonder if there's a Japanese voice option. I I didn't hear anything. How about you, sir? Don't know. That is impossible. If you do not answer my question, I cannot release your bonds. Now tell me the truth. There is nothing yeah, to be gained by lying mist? to me. Said I don't know. Yucky. You leave me no choice. I shall put you in the well room like all the others. You're never. I've never seen anyone do like a. Uh, a breakdown of what all the, the games based you? on uh, Tezuka properties. 
but this and the GBA Astro Boy game are freaking phenomenal. So it makes me wonder what else is out there. Has there been a good blackjack Shots game? From the well. Besides the card game. <laughs> Whoa, it's the salamander from Lost Planet 2. Don't you know? It's, it's gonna eat us! We're gonna be demon food! This just keeps getting better and better. Ha! Hope this demon likes eating sword armed men. <clears throat> Look at that. Look at the quality of that model. Particle effects. Shit, skin is good. Like, legit good. You go, Toro. She's doing a lot more than I am. No, I should leave with my super. Can't seem to get in. Kicking my ass. All right, leg cannon time. Oh my gosh. Go, go, go. Use your patented thievery to save the day. Presumably it's some yokai that uh, is rooted in real mythology. Yucky. What <laughs> the heck was that? Clearly a delicious a donut. But I've never encountered one so powerful before. It might be a demon that stole one of my body parts. I cut it pretty deep. I need to go into the well to see if it's dead. Hey! Hang on just a second. Leave it to me. This is what I do best. 